Well, come on in out of that uh, cold, snowy weather that we're having today. Well, actually, it was, uh, I think it was in the 60s today. Probably going to be in the 60s tomorrow. But anyway, uh, come on in. Let's take a look at your inspection report. So stay with me. Okay, now let's take a look at the inspection report and see how it reads out. This is a generic report. This is exactly what you will get, only your information obviously will be filled into all these blanks. The upper right-hand corner of the report is the legend. Each one of these initials pertain to something. A is consistent with the age of the chimney. B, C comments below. C, repairs needed. D, need further evaluation or E, not applicable and they're placed into the boxes next to the parts of the chimney that can be easily identified in this diagram and then of course you'll find my comments here below now let's take a look at your particular your personal report so stay with me hey sherry it was great to see you out at the property today what a beautiful house by the way uh let's dive in let's take a look at the fireplace open fireplace beautiful old uh I would call this colonial style fireplace with the beautiful tile. Um, working set of vent free gas logs. This thing you're seeing in the left corner here, that's called a top ceiling damper. Um, inside, you can see at the base of the uh, vent free gas logs, you can see a controller. And the, uh, they're using the key valve here as a service shutoff, so that's perfectly okay. So, uh, just to chat for a second about the damper. This is the damper in the open position uh, according to the handle. This is the damper in the closed position according to the top of the chimney. And um, so uh, you can use it either way. You can let the heat out or close the damper like it is in the right hand side and uh, keep the heat in the house. So whatever works best for you. Uh, in the flue system you can see that there's some gaps between the flue sections. Every two feet there's a flue joint and uh, there's missing mortar in here. This fireplace would not be suitable for vented gas logs, which produce a lot of carbon uh, monoxide and carbon soot, and it certainly wouldn't be uh, suitable for wood burning. But for what the application is that you have right now today, vent-free gas logs is perfect for it. So no problems with that whatsoever. Also in the smoke chamber area, not to beat a dead horse, this is the area where the smoke gathers before it goes up the flue. Again, more missing mortar in here. Not a problem with these logs. We look up on top. Here's what it looks like up at the top. Hey, we're missing some mortar in some of these uh, flue joints. Um, not flue joints, excuse me, mortar joints. They're cracked here where water can get down in there. And also at the very top, you can see in the crown up here. So that's something that does need to be repaired, and I'm giving you a price on doing that. Questions for me, give me a call, 704-526-6348. You can email me at chris at affordablesweep.com. Thanks.